Hello again viewers and greetings fellow space travelers, this is Thorn of Night and welcome to episode 3 of my Agrarian Skies Let's Play series. And I am right where I left off at the end of the last episode, haven't really done anything really at all uh, because I've been waiting for that tree to grow and it just occurred to me that I had killed some skeletons, so now I've got some more bone meal other than the two that I had before. Uh, so, real quick, I want to see what I want to go after first in this. It says it clear. Oh, I don't want... No, no, stop. I, I already read that. Go away. Uh, let's see here. So I did that. Next, I need to do the smeltery stuff. Not ready for that yet. I need a lot more clay. Uh, I need to... Let's see here. Sift sand until I receive ancient spores. So I need to sift sand. Uh, okay, I need... to submit those things. I could get to work on making a little mob spawner area, but I at least want to wait until I get cobble gen going before I do that. Uh, I, I I just feel safer with cobble gen or with cobblestone rather than building it out of wood. So let's see here. Go with the flow. What's this? Not there yet. Bees and trees. Seed oil can, artificial hive. Let's see here. Oh, it's nighttime. All right. Recipe. Oh, why is oh because there was an update. Okay, sorry guys. Let's get rid of this. Um, what is it? Options, inventory, cheat mode. Why is it default to that? That's annoying. Seed oil can is, well, obviously seed oil. So I get seed oil from Hopefully seeds are in here. Okay, good. But I will need a squeezer for that. Uh, yeah, so I need to do the squeezer. Okay, so artificial hive. A hay bale and some silk mesh. Oh, I need more silk mesh. Okay, so I'm not quite ready for that. For the hoarding, as I recall, yes, I'm missing that thing. Okay. Hell's Kitchen, I need to make a juicer, bakeware, and mixing bowl. I might be able to do some of that. Let's see here. Bake. Where is this one? This one. So it's either glass or brick, and I'm pretty sure I don't have enough of either. Yep, doesn't look like I can do that one. So it's juicer and mixing bowl. Oops. Uh, stone and pressure plate. I don't think I even have stone. Okay. Oh, why do I keep doing that? And this requires... Oh, I can do this one. So, three planks and a stick. Do that. And... This. Doop, doop, doop. And doop. Okay, so, got the mixing bowl. And this isn't a turn-in thing. Ooh, I get half a heart out of this. Uh, I don't have any other hearts, I don't think. Nope. Okay. So, I will put this... 
And yeah, I'll put it oops in here. Next to this quest stuff. Shift these around. Alright. So it looks like I'm going to want to get at least one more iron worth. So I need to get some pulverized iron ore or I need to get one of the or the iron gravel blocks or something so I can get two iron because I want to start shearing leaves because sheared leaves will also turn into dirt in here at a ratio of eight sheared leaves to one dirt and that is a lot less expensive than saplings and when you shear as I recall you still get saplings so I'm going to try to get some more iron. I don't know how well that's going to work. But either way, that is going to be my first main objective because I need to start getting uh, enough stone, what are these called? Oh, just stone. I need to get enough of those to make eight cobblestone so I can get some lava, so I can get some cobble gen going. So I'm going to go ahead and cut here, see what I can do about getting some more materials, and I'll be right back. All right, I just wanted to show you guys what I did. I took some of these blocks that I got up here, the colored bricks. I took the red ones out back after having made six cobblestone. I still need two more cobblestone to go. But uh, I'm going to scoop up some water here and come around back to show you this. I have made a cobble gen. Pretty rudimentary. Nothing special going on here. Uh, the water goes in there and it will flow down there. And then the lava will go up here and one thing I've learned about cobble gen making cobble gens is the absolute most important thing that you can do is make sure make absolute certain that the lava cannot get touched by the water so I always put the lava block one above the level of the water just to completely prevent any mishaps and then I stand here and I dig it it might turn to cobblestone here or there depending uh, actually after the uh, lava starts interacting I'll probably block this off here so the lava can flow in there and then I'll just be able to stand here and do my digging uh, thankfully the uh, what was this called? Green stained clay uh, is a lot harder to dig through uh, with a hammer than the cobblestone is, so I don't have to worry about digging. I can just stand here and hold the button down and it will do the digging for me. The reason I have this block here is so that when I walk off I and I'm going that direction, I don't accidentally fall off the map, which would be completely embarrassing make it morning again uh, speaking of embarrassing I still can't believe that I forgot that it starts off in cheat mode uh, oh well and naturally I am out of bone meal again so now I have to wait for this to grow uh, I don't think I no I, I only have five rotten flesh I don't have enough to make dirt out of that so I am now at the mercy of uh, getting the, wait a minute, I wonder, will it work with these seeds? Nope. Hey, it was worth a shot. Uh, I only have six of those seeds, so I don't want to mess with those. I already tried wood, so that's not going to work. Yeah, I think... I don't have anything else that I can toss in there. Oh, well. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to, I guess, just twiddle my thumbs and wait for that to grow up big and strong. 
probably get a bunch of fishing done. And uh, then I thought I had... There we go. Then once I get the correct amount of cobblestone, I no longer have to use trees to make cobblestone. So I'm going to put this bucket back here so I don't lose it or anything. And... Where do I want to put the crucible, actually? Uh, you know what? For right now, here looks good. So let's go ahead and set that up. Take this and these. And I'll grab you. Uh there. Pickaxe. And yes! Excellent! So I'll put the torch there. Crucible there. And there we go. It's all good to go. I can create lava in there. It does require eight cobblestone. So it's not even worth tossing those six in, just in case there's some sort of uh, calculation derp in case I have to reboot or something. So they're just going to stay safe in that chest up off the floor. And I'm going to, I guess, start fishing again. That's really the only thing I can do while I'm waiting. So, yep, fishing it is. Anyway, I'll be back, hopefully, with... Uh, two more cobblestone, and I will get that lava generation going. So talk to you in just a minute. Okay, I figured while I was waiting for the tree to grow, I did catch some fish, and I got some, uh, I got one more cobblestone. Uh, you may notice that there's a gaping hole in my floor, and that's because there's something I wanted to do here. Uh, and I'll need two of these, and... Actually, I'll need three of these. I need to do this, make another chest, and then I think this is a, yep, a cheap recipe for doing this. I want to make a pattern chest, but I don't really want to keep it out in the middle of everywhere, so I'm going to put it right there. And hopefully, uh, this should work if I take the part builder oops, and put it there. Yes, it can access the pattern chest. Excellent. Uh, so I can just put the patterns in here without having to be able to uh, physically access the pattern chest. So that's awesome. Uh, another thing I wanted to do uh, was, let's see here, if I take the tool station, I can put it there, and then if I take another chest, put it here, and then I can just... Uh, upgrade that chest in the future. I'm going to take this and put it here. And now this has access to the stuff in that chest also. But since the tool station's next to it, I can also interact with the tools. Now the stencil table is just going to be used just the the first go around for making all the stencils so uh actually i might as well go ahead and do that was there a quest for i i don't see any tinker's construct stuff wait this might be tinker's construct so before i get too far into it i'm going to just Leave that be as is. But the other part of the reason why I wanted to do this is now this is an open area. I can I can put stuff up above it and 
uh, maybe like little half slabs halfway above it and still be able to access this stuff down here. But what I am going to do is take the logs and put them in there. Same thing with that. And anything else? Let's see here. I can build with that. And I think that's it. So now, if I access this, I can just grab from here, craft the things, and put them right back in the chest. And I don't actually have to have the stuff on me. So that's what I was doing there. Now I need to get back to waiting for this next tree to grow. And hopefully I will have enough uh, saplings to be able to make one more cobblestone so I can get some lava going. That would be wonderful. Anyway, I'll be back and talk to you in just a moment. Okay, so I now have eight cobblestone. How are we doing on daytime? All right. Come around here and... Doop, 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 doop. And, oh, I could have gotten this started already. Maybe it only takes five. Oh, that would be a bummer if it only took five. I could have done it earlier. Now, I'm hoping that you can make this out, but ever so slowly, the level of the cobblestone image is sinking into the crucible, and it will melt down to a point where uh, it becomes lava. Now, it may actually still take eight total cobblestone to make the lava, but I guess I'll find out. Uh, so, I'm going to wait for this to melt, and then I'll be right back. Alright, we've got lava, and the level of the lava is still going down, but I'm going to try to get the lava out now. Nope, still didn't work. Uh, so clearly, I still need to add more cobblestone, unfortunately. So... Back to waiting, and then when this is done, I will hopefully have enough to get some lava. I'm still pretty sure it'll take all eight of them, but uh, I might be wrong on that. Anyway, I'll be right back. All right, eight cobblestone, and now I've got some lava. So let's get up here, put that in there, and there we go. To make sure that, and I think this is just a graphical bug. The level is still going down, so I'm not sure what's up with that, but there is definitely cobblestone there. Oh, uh, I was looking to see, by the way, these yellow X's everywhere. This light here, along with these, produces enough to keep anything from spawning here, and then the lava I was hoping would generate a little bit of light up there but not really so I'm going to have to put some torches back there I also need to if I haven't already put torches up on the top of the uh, the strip of death apparently is what it's being called I don't remember hey eh. I, I think I see torches so I think that's covered. Anyway, uh, let's grab the hammer here. And as long as I'm standing here, I can just keep on smashing away with the hammer and getting gravel out of the cobblestone. So here we have all manner of uh, cobble generation. Don't have to worry about growing trees in order to get this anymore, which is awesome. So I'm going to grab a bunch of these, get some more processing going, and then I guess I'll be back after I figure out what I want to work on next. I have an idea, but uh, I ultimate goal right now is to head towards an igneous extruder if that's the correct way of spelling it let's see here Ig 
Okay, that's right. It just didn't look right. Uh, in order to make it, I'm going to need some tin, some glass pistons. So I'll need some iron and some redstone. Need, need some more redstone there. Some gold. So there's a few things that I need to get first, but I can do it. So I'm going to get to work on heading towards that, I guess, and then I'll be right back. One quick thing, in case I forgot to mention it, uh, using that clay bucket, when you place a lava uh, bucket, it destroys the actual clay bucket itself. Uh, you can move as much water as you want, but as soon as you move lava, when you place it in its destination, the bucket just goes poof. So that's something to keep in mind. Place it exactly where you want it, otherwise you're going to have a little bit of a trouble. Anyway, I'll be back. Alright, so I've gone through a couple stacks of gravel and have smelted some iron ingots as well as some of the other ores. And I even got a couple emeralds and a diamond out of the endeavor, as well as some lapis. Uh, but I need to... Well... Let's move this up here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, not enough room for all these. Huh. You know what? This can go somewhere else. There. You go in here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and make a pair of shears. And then, now just to make sure, I've got spare sapling. I can turn that off. So let's see if I get a sapling out of doing this. Plenty of saplings. That is awesome. So what that means is I can... For sure, just keep on doing that and use the leaf blocks to make the dirt. Like so. There we go. And replant. Well, after I chop that down. But uh, yeah, that's going to be my solution. That's how I'm going to make dirt from now on. Okay, so the next thing I need to work towards is getting an igneous extruder going. Uh, and let's see here. The first thing I need for that is going to be some glass and some redstone. Everything else uh, I should be able to make using what I have here. Except, yeah, just the redstone. So, mm, I believe I need to sift sand for that I'm not sure I'll find out I need to get some anyway so uh, the first thing I want to do is upgrade my hammer because I can make a stone hammer there's still lava in there that is weird Well, that's not going to work. There we go. There's one. There's two. Okay. Now, the wooden hammers last about a stack. And I want to see how long the stone hammers last. So that's why I'm doing this. Uh, so I'm going to take care of this and then I'll be right back. Okay, so the stone hammer gave me two stacks plus four gravel. So that's definitely a, uh, a better improvement over uh, what I thought it was going to be. I figured it'd just be like two and three quarter stacks. But anyway, I need to turn the gravel into sand. I need to cook some of the sand as is into glass. And then I need to process this, the rest of the sand over in there. So... I'm going to get to that. I'll be right back. All right. There is one thing you can do to make things go a little bit more smoothly. Take yourself a whole bunch of food. 
and all that gravel that you want to turn into sand or all that sand that you want to turn into dust make a gigantic pillar out of it Ooh, ooh, that's frightening and then just jump your way up to the top um uh, it should take about three and a half four hunger units to uh, to do about two stacks so eight cooked fish ten cooked fish should be more than enough to uh build up and dig all the way back down through it without having to stand in place place a gravel dig the gravel place the gravel again and so on and so forth just figured out I, I just figured I would give you a uh, a a tip on that because it does make things a little bit easier. Even though it's a trade-off for using food, it's still a lot easier. Anyway, I'm going to turn this to dust, process some dust, and let's see if we can get an igneous extruder going. Talk to you in just a moment. One other thing I should mention about this method is usually when you are digging from way up high like you're digging a, a stack cobblestone or something um there's a chance that the block that you dig goes flying off the side and you have to gather a whole bunch of loose stuff out around the base of the column that you uh, you've uh, placed not so when using the hammer and that's because when you use the hammer no matter where you're standing uh, as long as you're relatively close to the block, it just pops right into your inventory. Uh, you can see that it just exists, and then I have it. None of the flying off the side bit. So you don't have to worry about any loss of items this way. So it, it, that's another advantage to doing it in this fashion. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I should have enough maybe anyway I'm going to turn this to dust and then I'll be back all right in case I didn't cover this uh, before uh, you get different things from processing items to the sieve uh, for instance when you process gravel you can get coal and flint and emeralds and diamonds uh, also the uh, amber quicksilver drop and appetite then when you process sand uh aside from getting the uh some of the uh the little crushed and pulverized and broken uh, bits you can get uh lapis and certus quartz and i think a couple other oh yeah that's right um oh i have them on me let's see here limestone cactus uh, cactus seeds rather cocoa beans ancient spores which are used for uh, getting mushrooms and I'll probably go over that in the next episode and I forgot if the exotic seeds came in while I was doing the the sand I think it was uh, if not then it, it came in when I was doing the dust but the dust will give you the pulverized versions just like these up here as well as blaze powder, glowstone dust, gunpowder, bone meal, which is good, certus quartz dust, as well as redstone. And that's why I needed to uh, deal with the dust was so I could get the redstone. So uh, let me process this stuff real quick and then I'll be right back to make the igneous extruder and get some real cobble gen going. And then I'll probably go ahead and wrap things up. So talk to you in just a moment. All right, let's see if we can make this thing. First off, I am going to need one of these. So let's, oh, it's not going to automatically do it. Okay, that's fine. That's no big deal. There we go. So there's that. Then I need one of these. Um... Just occurred to me, I need to get a couple of tin cooking real quick. Toss those in there. Grab four sticks. There are sticks in there, right? Okay, good. Anyway, uh, let's see here. I will need 
to make that. So there's this. And there was iron or uh, redstone in the middle to glass. Okay. Then I'm going to need to make one of these. Iron in the middle, redstone there. And then waiting on the tin. But I believe these items can stay in place. Even if I exit the inventory. Yes. So, glass there as I recall. Yes. And there's the tin. Igneous extruder. Outstanding. And I am going to need to make one more iron. No need to waste any fuel on it. But I'm... Ooh, another tree grew. Nice. I am still going to be putting it back here. Uh, only this time it's going to go facing this way because I'm going to have a bunch of processing stuff going over there. Now, first thing I need to do to get that thing going is oh, did I only make one? I only made one. Wait, was there one? Aha! There we go. Almost walked away without making what I needed. An actual bucket! Alright. So, grab the water. Plunk it in there. And it'll be like that. And set on cobblestone mode and ignored. And I will have this shift left click to clear all that. I'll have this output to the top. And use this. Shift click again. And it is already making cobblestone. And that is how you make a cobble gen. Ha! Ah, so much nicer that way. And I'm just going to let that run for a bit. Um, now, that is going to be key uh, to a lot of the other stuff that I'm going to be doing uh, in this challenge. And the reason is... is it's going to be a lot simpler to get things to run off of lava than it is anything else. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing, is setting everything up to run on lava. I have dirt. And this can go in here. And, oops, I don't need these sticks. Go away. Oh, that's not the chest. There we go. Uh, but I'm going to cut here, see where I am time-wise, and then uh, possibly wrap things up. This might be a good place to wrap things up anyway, because I just made the uh, uh, igneous extruder. But we'll see how much time I've got. I'll be right back. Oh yeah, it is definitely time to wrap things up. So, thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to le leave a message in the comment section below. Uh, if you like this video, uh, or you like what I'm doing here, please feel free to give a like. I do appreciate that. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe so you know when my future stuff comes out. Uh, but I'm going to get ready to do some other stuff so thank you once again for watching this is thorn of night and i will talk to you later